Hey everyone, it's your soul here, and the moment's finally here when Donald Trump reveals, or Trump, <laughs> to give him his German name, uh, reveals finally his uh, how how little he uh, respects the intelligence of the average person, if there is an average person. Just moments or days, not not too long after the uh, recent spate of shootings in America by apparently white nationalist or white um, supremacist kind of young men, let's say. Um, Trump put out a, a speech where he, which was obviously completely scripted. I don't think I've ever seen a, him give a speech before where he was so obviously scripted. Usually he seems to speak from his own mind and doesn't always make a lot of sense, but um, this time I'm pretty sure he was reading from a teleprompter, very carefully worded script, where basically he, he denounced white extremism and so on, and then blamed blamed these shootings on video games. Uh, yeah, nothing to do with him and his politics or the claims he's been making and the general direction he's taken the government and so on. No, it's to do with video games and the internet. So we have to crack down on video games and the internet. It's nothing to do with him. Just the most mind-blowing deflection, denial and um, political manoeuvring to try to take responsibility away, any responsibility away from himself and just put it onto anything else that he can. But um, setting all of that aside, this tweet really just blows my mind. Uh, so bearing in mind that just before this shooting, uh, people, many people have been saying, well, look out for a big false flag shooting. There's going to be one any day soon because we've got this whole Jeffrey Epstein story. We've got numerous other stories in the news making uh, Trump and the government look really bad and possibly, you know, exposing large numbers of people within these kind of uh, power broker type levels of society as being paedophiles, as being all kinds of criminals. And, you know, people basically saying, watch out, there's going to be big shootings. And lo and behold, here we have a whole bunch of big shootings. Now, you know, the conversation suddenly no longer people talking about Epstein, no longer talking about, you know, government corruption and all these things. Suddenly now they're talking back again about white supremacy and, and revoking gun rights in America. So, Trump just put out this tweet, really mind-blowing. We cannot let those killed in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio die in vain. All right, well, yeah, that's fair enough. Like, well, likewise, for those so seriously wounded. Well, you don't really need to say that, but okay. We can never forget them and those many who came and those many who came before them. That's not really right grammar, but anyway. Um, Republicans and Democrats must come together and get strong background checks. Perhaps marrying this legislation with desperately needed immigration reform. We must have something good, if not great, come out of these two tragic events. So he's basically saying we must have strong background checks, presumably on buying guns. Uh, so we must spy more and be more invasive into people, uh, people's lives and their mental state and cl more clearly define who can and can't own weapons and so on. But here's the mind-blowing part. He's basically saying, yeah, and we need to really get involved in immigration reform. Because, because what? Because the people that did the killing were immigrants? Well, no, they weren't, were they? They were people trying to kill immigrants. So he's basically blaming the actions of the shooters, as far as I can tell, on immigrants. Except, I mean, I might be wrong, but... I'm not sure that anybody that got killed was actually an immigrant in terms of illegal or otherwise. I mean, probably, you know, maybe some were, but uh, maybe legal immigrants, but there's no evidence they were illegal. And how would you go to a shop like Walmart and target people as if they were illegal immigrants anyway? You couldn't, could you? So, you know, it's safe to assume that the majority of people in there were not illegal immigrants who got killed. So how exactly would having immigration reform have done anything to prevent this violence? The only possible way it could have done is by, uh, you know, let's say let's say there were no illegal immigrants magically at all, then he's sort of suggesting that the uh, the shooters wouldn't have done what they were doing because they're only just kind of... It's almost like he's basically justifying their actions by saying, well, you know, it's understandable they'd get really annoyed and shoot these people because, you know, well, we've got these immigrants, haven't we? I can't... I literally can't think of another way to interpret what he's saying. It doesn't... I mean... I'm quite good with logic, but I i mean, correct me if I'm missing something or inform me if you will, but I'm pretty sure there isn't another explanation for what he's saying. You know, there's a lot of Trump supporters, as there are with all political people who spout nonsense, um, who support them. 
they they do a lot of mental gymnastics to try to change the situation so that it makes them seem more sane for supporting this person and so on. But if anybody can explain to me who's pro-Trump or, or who isn't, uh, how exactly his tweet here shows respect to the people that were killed um, and how exactly having immigration reform would do anything to honour the people that were killed in any way, uh, I'd love to know. I mean, unless he's suggesting that um, somehow that they should have immigration reforms that are backdated by about 300 years checking the Europeans that came over to see if they have a valid right and good mental health and so on and whether they're going to be productive uh, people of the community unless he's talking about doing that you know which probably you might want to get in contact with some of the Native American tribes uh, to organize that because <laughs> apparently they they had a bit more of a presence back then than the Trump family did but anyway um yeah, what what a perverse situation, basically. Uh, a man of German heritage uh, telling people that we need to have more controls on basically non-white people coming into the country because white nationalists, white supremacists of a Nazi German type have killed a bunch of people. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just classic double-think, heartless, denial, reversal, false flag, whatever you want to call it. Um, projection and you know he's the kind of person who um, seems like he's the kind of person who could basically go out and run a dog over and then get sympathy because he bruised his hand because the dog ran out in front of him when he deliberately run the dog over that's how I see it and um, I think people just need to pay more attention to what's actually being said and think it through instead of just going off in a knee jerk um, very narrow blinkered way of thinking that denies reality so anyway um yeah definitely looking forward to your comments on this madness and uh yeah as i said if i missed anything then let me know uh if you enjoyed this then do upvote resteam reblog and pass on share along and until next time peace <laughs>